What I'd like to do first of all is show you how you install and configure WordPress. Now if you've got Fantastico it will look like this. Some web hosts now have something called Simple Script, but again it's a very simple process. We're looking down here and we go to Fantastico Deluxe and we install it. It's very simple to do, you don't need any particular technical skills or anything else in order to be able to do this. So you can see here we have uh, installation already and you can see if you want to upgrade to the latest version you just click that button. But we're going to do a new installation so we click on WordPress here. Then we click here, it's not entirely obvious but you can click here on new installation and install a new one. So I'm going to install it in the subdirectory of um, test. I'll have a normal, just call it admin, uh, a simple password. Um, then you can set your um, nickname, admin nickname, so it could be anything you want. Um, this is an email address. Then um, you put your site name in here. It doesn't matter too much what you put here, as you can change these later on. But those are what you put in. Then you click install WordPress. Uh, you click finish installation and then it's done that's it that's all you need to do and you've installed WordPress so now if I um, open this window here if I open that in a new tab you can see here it's all installed so we just type in our ID and password and that way we can log in to WordPress okay so this is an installed uh, version of WordPress over here you've got your control panels and here you can see what you have uh, on your dashboard. So um, simple configuration, it's very very quick and easy. Uh, you start with posts, you trash the um, original post, you don't need that on there, that get rid of that. Now you go to categories as well, um, you're going to change the name of this, just click um, quick edit and change it to something uh, relevant to your um, keyword, to your niche. Uh, you may want to create additional categories. These aren't necessary, but some people find, particularly if you're targeting uh, multiple keywords, it's worth um, having more than one category based on each keyword. Now, I'd go into links as well. Uh, click there, and then delete all of the links that are there. You also want to enter, edit the uh, link categories as well. Um, again, change it from blog roll to uh, something like resources or something simple. So you just put in uh, resources and then the same down here as well, resources um, in lowercase. You may want to create more than one category depending again how many links you're planning on having. But I would always recommend um, you know, a link to whatever you're promoting and possibly one or two other ones to um, authority sites in the niche. Uh, then under pages, uh, edit this and change it to something relevant again to your niche. This is the about use page. You can change the title. Um, you can change all of this as well. So that's all we need to do here. Um, we don't need to do anything under comments. But if we go to appearance now, uh, this is where you install your theme. Um, add new theme here and you can search for new themes. Um, install them um, and so on. So you can upload ones, you can search for ones here, or you can just go to Google and do a search there. Um, you can use the widgets to add widgets onto it. Again, it depends on how you're laying your site at as to what you use here. Um, plugins we'll look at in a minute. Author users we can ignore. Same with tools. We don't need to worry too much about that at the moment. Now, under settings, um, you've got some changes that you need to make here. Uh, again, this is where you change your site name and tagline. Uh, you can let anyone register and just save the changes when you've done it. If we next go to writing, under writing again, you can change all these. Uh, I'd recommend ignoring those. I'd also recommend just deleting out this information here just to be on the safe side. If you want to put any uh, update services in there, feel free to do so. Uh, all that it does is it will ping them when there's a new post. Then we go to reading. Okay, um, 
Again, I'd make a few changes here. I would pick it to show a static page on the front page. I want control over what they see. The only page I've created at the moment is about. So I would create just a single page. Um, yeah, I'd set this as my home page so that people come there and they see a good amount of information when they get there. Otherwise, yeah, they're going to see the latest post. It may not be what you want them to see. Uh, blog pages show at most. I always set that to one. That way it looks more like a website, less like um, a, a blog. Then we save changes. Okay, now under discussion over here, our next settings. Again, most of these you can leave as they are. The only one I'd change is this one. Always check this box, um, and it just means that you're not going to get any um, spam comments at all. And then um, save the changes down the bottom here. Uh, if you don't do that, then people can get comments through. What some spammers do is they'll make one or two you know, reasonable comments, and then when they realize that they're, they're allowed to make any comments and they don't need to be approved, they'll start spamming. Uh, the next one we need to go to is uh, permalinks. Okay, now on the permalinks side, this is how your website looks in the search engines. This is the default up here, but your domain name dot com slash um, category slash and then the post ID. That makes no sense at all. It's terrible for SEO. Now, what people may want to do is I recommend that you always change it. Now, the easiest way to do this is to do it like that, okay? and do it to the post name. You can put the category in as well. If you're using categories and your category is keyword related, you could put percent category percent in here as well. Um, I tend to do quite small sites myself, so just the post name is enough. And then you save the changes. And that's all the settings you need to do. It's not complex, it's not difficult. And as you can see, it takes um, just a couple of minutes to do. It's really, really simple.